the perfect weekend to get out and do all of that, especially if you do enjoy this heat here. And, you know, I myself, I've said over and over and over, don't enjoy the heat. So if you are like me, you'll want to be inside blasting those ACs. Our typical high for this time of the month is that you usually sitting in the lower 80s. We're expected to see upper 80s and even push out a 90 across some areas. And we're going to sit just slightly above our lows for uh, the day as well. As far as our record temperatures, 99 degrees back in 1940s. We're not expected to get to that today. Thank goodness. So again, plenty of sunshine, mostly sunny skies. We're also going to see along with the sunshine and heat, our humidity levels sitting a little bit on the sticky side. So dew points in the upper 50s and 60s as well and if you're someone who suffers from those allergies like myself you're probably filling it outdoors pollen levels sitting in a moderate standing uv index sitting very high so at a level nine making sure to take those breaks from the sun drinking lots of water and getting that uh, sunscreen on of spf of 30 or above and that air quality sitting at an unhealthy level so if you're someone who suffers from respiratory issues you would want to just make sure that you are limiting your time outdoors for today. For the rest of us, our boat and beach forecast looking really good for today. We have no advisories in place. Notice along the coast there, those temperatures are expected to also be near that 90 mark, so above normal for this time of the year. One of the issues here is going to be that rip current. It's sitting at a moderate to a high standing. So if you had plans on taking a dip in the water, making sure to do so around a lifeguard. Our water temperatures starting to warm up as well. We're seeing them near that 70 mark. Tonight, our overnight low is also sitting at 70, so slightly above normal, mostly clear skies. It's going to feel a little muggy outdoors, and again, that humidity will still be in place, not just for today, but for tomorrow as well. We do have that high pressure system. This is what's dominating the region, giving us those warmer temperatures, but also having it feel a little muggy outdoors with those southwest winds continuing to filter in. So this will be the story for today and tomorrow. The heat is on, the sunshine is out, feeling a little muggy outdoors as well, but we do have some relief to look forward to. We have a cold front that sits off to the west of us. It's going to continue to push this way, expecting it to hold off at least until Monday, where we're not only expecting to see a chance for some showers and storms, but also a drop in our temperatures. By the second half of Monday, we're expecting those showers to be gone, high pressure swinging back in place, bringing us some more of those bright skies, and that humidity, le humidity levels will start to drop. So, again, getting through our first official weekend of the summer season, and it's expected to be the warmest weekend of the month so far here across the tri-state. So, 90, perfect day to get out and enjoy some of that outdoor activities. Expected to see some rain on Monday, temperatures dropping back down near normal, and we'll see that from the middle towards the end of next week. Temperatures warming up, but also plenty of sunshine in place as well.